All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash, the bonus to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who are well, and salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. We're the brothers from Great Millstone Tampa. I'm the brother Ash. I'm the brother Malakia. Yeah, and we're just uh, going to do a quick video, Lord's Will, as edifying mm -hmm. to the hopeful elect. You know, just going into, you know, something we touched on yesterday at camp, you know, just of... Uh, uh, you know, examining yourself to make sure you're even uh, applying this word, you know, because the scripture says that with all that getting, get understanding. So you need to be able to apply these words and not just be able to just regurgitate them. You know, just you here it is. You might know a break these breakdowns because anybody can learn these breakdowns by watching the videos. Right. But are you applying the word? Or, you know, because anybody can just regurgitate word for word what you tell or what the apostles say. Yeah, sure. That don't mean they're in the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you need to be able to apply these words with understanding. All right. Because that's what it is. Uh, get that. Uh, it says uh, mm -hmm. uh, walk in the spirit, not after the flesh, roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. You know, because you, you got, a, got a lot of guys that claim to be Israelites, but they're not examining their self. They're not, you know. Well, let me read this first. Uh, this is 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. It says, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Yeah, uh, void of judgment. You know, you're not, you know, you're not under, you know, applying the word at the end of the day. You know, you're just being a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You're not actually proving yourself. And how are you proving yourself? You got to do the works. You know, you can say you have faith, but if you can't, if you're not showing it by your works, then the faith without works is dead. And that comes through. You got to uh, examine yourself daily, which uh, go ahead, though. You found it. Go ahead. <clears throat> it's the book of Galatians, chapter five, uh, verse 16. This I say then. <coughs> so lucky. This I say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the flesh. Lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, that's why the Lord has commanded us to walk in the spirit. All right, that we would would not fulfill the lust of the flesh. All right, as you you know, as we come into this truth, you you have to examine. All right, you have to to to, to truly dial in on yourself because the Lord He tries our inward thoughts. All right, so we have to walk. In the spirit, all right, because everything that's outside of the world, all right, these are things that's going to draw you out, all right, for you to go into indulge in these things as you walking in the flesh. But while you come into this, uh, into this truth, all right, we're supposed to be in the spirit, all right, and the uh, the spirit and the uh, the flesh they lust, all right, I mean, it's like they they fight against each other, all right. So that's why we have to always constantly, all right, examine ourselves, all right, to always walk in the spirit. Um, verse eighteen. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft. Yeah, that's the, that's the things you're going to fall into mm -hmm. if you're not uh, examining yourself, you know. Because mm -hmm. well, you got to be purging out that leaven every day, man. Constantly. You know, because like the brother just read, you're, the flesh is at war with the, with the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. It reads on. It says variants, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of that which I tell you before, as I have told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. All right. And that's the, the goal. All right. For us to enter our right into the kingdom of heaven, all right, for us to get salvation. But if you're not constantly uh, examining yourself, all right, you're going to get caught up in all these things that was just listed uh, above, yeah. all right. And these are the things that what that's going to get you uh, judged. Yeah, yep. God, exactly. That's why you got to examine yourself daily because they that judge ultimately the judgment's coming. Mm -hmm. So you need to you need to make sure you're doing everything you can, like the scripture say, make your call and election sure, mm -hmm. so that you're you're found worthy. To receive the, the the proper reward of salvation, okay, because everybody's gonna get a reward, but you want to be rewarded for your for, for your uh, your good works, you know. Mm -hmm. But this is a uh, Sirach eighteen and twenty it says before judgment, as you have yeah, say before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy. So you need to 
be examining yourself and keep it real with yourself. You know, you, you got to be your biggest critic because if not, if you're lying to yourself and, oh, well, let me get this Galatians 6 and uh, 3. Four, you hear this, you think you're holier than thou. Oh, I'm the, you know, you think, you know, you can do no wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not applying those scriptures, being a demon. Right. You know, just because you know you, you you know some verses, right? You can quote verses and whatever. I get this priest about you know, such and such verse. This you know, you right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're being a hypocrite. But it's Galatians sixty three. For if a, if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Mm -hmm. So you're not deceiving nobody. You're deceiving yourself, man. You're thinking you're something when you're not, all right? Because but how you gonna you got to realize that you know take a look at the man in the mirror, all right? And especially when you start. Uh, handing out judgments. If you start handing out judgments, you be like Scripture say you got to make sure that there's no moat in your eye. Take out the moat from your eye first before you uh point the finger, so to say. Come right. oh, on. I got I got the word examine. Okay, fine. <coughs> from the entomology online. Uh, it's, it's, a it's a verb. It says to put someone to question in regard to knowledge, competence, or skill. Inquire into qualifications or capabilities. All right, and not putting someone is, is is yourself. All right, holding yourself accountable. All right, always examining everything uh, about you. All right, when you when you, you know, and it's truth. All right, like the scripture says, you know, for you to set your house in order. Mm -hmm. All right, we're supposed to be walking in the spirit, always walking. All right, after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, after His law, statutes, and commandments. All right, so if you're living anything otherwise, all right, the Lord is going to eventually He's going to uh, put you out there. All right. And um, what the scripture says, uh, any everything that is uh, what hid, all right, and all these things, uh, it, it will be revealed, mm -hmm. all right. The Lord's going to reveal everything because um, also in the book of Sirach too, it says how the Lord's eyes is ten times brighter than the sun. So you can't hide away from the Lord, like the brother had mentioned uh, the scripture before. All right, you're not deceiving Yahweh by Shemiah and Bashai, you're only deceiving yourselves. Mm -hmm. Come, let me go back into that word, examine. Uh, says to inspect or survey carefully, to scrutinize. Yeah, you got to be your biggest critic. Mm -hmm. You know, bigger because who do you know? Who knows you better than yourself? Every, brothers ain't around you all twenty four seven. Nobody's around you all day. That's right. So yeah. you're the one that knows. You know, and if you how do you know what if what you're doing is the right thing? Well, the, through the scriptures. That's how you need, what do you the measuring tool you need to use when you examine yourself. Mm -hmm. There is what does the scriptures say about this? Would, would, would the Lord do this? You know, they got that saying in the world. What would Jesus do? Well, was, was this be something that Yahweh Shai would do or, or or be down with? You know. Mm -hmm. All right. Going back into uh, examine, uh, it says to survey uh, something carefully, scrutinize, view or observe in all aspects with the purpose of forming a correct opinion or judgment. Uh, it says to question. To consider, all right. Let me get that word consider right Come quick. On. That's a heavy word too. Uh, consider is a verb. It says to fix the mind upon. Yeah, to fix the mind upon for careful examination. All right, to meditate upon, to view attentively, to scrut to scrutinize, not to be negligent of. All right. So when we come into this truth, we're not supposed to be negligent or at this opportunity of what the Lord has given us. All right. We're supposed to walk in the spirit. All right. Always constantly examining ourselves, always fervent in prayer, always asking the Lord. All right. To reveal and to, to remove all the impurities away from us. All right. This is uh, uh, someone who's of a, a, a contract spirit, someone who's who's always uh, trying to please after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. It's, it's their faith. All right. That them always examining themselves uh, it says to reflect on, to consider and to study. All right. To study yourself. All right. Mm -hmm. To observe yourself. Uh, like the brother was saying, you know, you are your biggest uh, critic, all right? So if you're not listening to yourself, or if you're not listening to the scriptures, if you're not listening to the spirit, all right, you're ultimately, all right, not truly examining yourselves, and you're really truly out there in the world, and you think that you're uh, serving not the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but you're only serving your own belly. Mm -hmm. That's it on that word, examine. Kind of, like the brother said, you're serving your own belly, and that's when you're trying to be seen of men. All right, because really that, that those people lack critical self-examination because that's why they're they allow that pride to puff them up. They're not considering like the brother just brought out. They're not considering if that's uh, what the Most High's will is. Mm -hmm. You know, of course the men sets uh, the Lord sets up men in certain positions, all right, if it's for order's sake, and that's just how it is. But 
hey, you don't you don't choose what position the Lord puts you in. You get the Lord puts you in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's but again, you have to uh, examine yourself daily for that. You have to examine thyself whether thou be in the face because the, you know there's one scripture that say uh, forever learning but never coming to the truth mm -hmm. because so you know so you're not again that you're not applying the, the scriptures. Let me get that real quick. Um, I uh, quoted it earlier. This is um, um, you know uh, first, huh? You know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, cool. uh, Proverbs four and verse seven it says, "Wisdom is the principal thing; therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and let me go, go to the blue uh, the blue letter real quick. See what that says there for understanding. In the Proverbs four and seven, let's see here, because you got to you need to understand to apply the wisdom. It's not just about getting the knowledge and the wisdom, but you need to apply it, man. Because if you if not, then it's just going in through one ear and out the other. All right, so right here the the Hebrew word there is it says. By na, by by na, it says understanding, discernment, mm -hmm. act, faculty, object, personified. So you have to personify that wisdom you get, act on it, right? right? Uh, what else it says? Uh, let me get to the root word. See what that says. It says bind, by na, or bind. Yeah, bind says to perceive, discern. Understand to observe, mark if he to, yeah, you got to get if he to to the understand the or the wisdom and the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Regard to teach, instruct. So you're not. Uh, that's another thing. You're not supposed to sit on it. Right. All right, but so you get the point, man. You you got to be prudent in this thing. You have to be diligent. What was the other word that said? Act on it. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to act on 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 the wisdom because if you have it. It, oh, that's another precept. Um, but it says, uh, if yeah, exactly. If you, well, yeah, that's one. Uh, wisdom. I think his wisdom head is like. Uh, let's see here. I think it's in the in the apocrypha. Yep, here it is. It says, uh, it's Sirach twenty in uh, verse thirty. Yes, yeah, Sirach twenty and thirty says, wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up. What profit is in them both? Better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth wisdom. There you go, man. So if you if you're not instructing, you're not teaching this word uh, uh, properly. All right, and, and applying it to yourself, because another thing, there, there's one that teaches many, but is unprofitable to himself. So this is again, these are all things that are going to come if you're not examining yourself. So you need to be able to apply this wisdom, and you have to because you have to walk in the in the spirit. All right, and not walk after the flesh. You have to examine yourself daily, and then that comes with. Uh, applying these these words, man. Mm -hmm. Discerning when is what you know when it's wise to do certain things, and when it's when it's even if even if it's lawful, like Paul said, though it be lawful, not expedient. Mm -hmm. And if you're not examining yourself and uh, your surroundings, of course, mm -hmm. you need to just uh, 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 examine everything, really. But it's yourself, important, most importantly, because mm -hmm. again, you can't judge another man till you take the mold out of your own eye. Uh, Matthew seven. Go ahead. You had something though? Uh, I did, but I took it off. Okay, let me get that Matthew 7 then real quick. And while you get that, let me get this word understand. Okay, okay. <clears throat> this the word understand. It's a verb that says to comprehend, to grasp the idea of, to receive from a word or words or from a sign the idea it is intended to convey. All right? So when you understand this truth, <clears throat> all right, you're supposed to uh, be able to comprehend it. All right? Be able to grasp the idea of, of, of what you know what, what you're doing with you coming to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh all right it's not a thing of a lip service or just you know reading uh precepts and, and you know it's, it's it's a whole nother whole level all right but when you come into this truth all right you're supposed to examine yourself so that way you can be able to grow to you able to to, to be able to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh in its fullness okay yeah. to be able to understand to perceive these things yeah. um, that comes with meditating med mm -hmm. you know you know, you got to recognize your weak points, you know, your strengths, mm -hmm. well, uh, uh, play on your strengths and, and mm -hmm. you know, try to work on, uh, you know, better yourself in your weaknesses mm -hmm. or just avoid things that, that, that you are weak in. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. 
But then again, that's why we have a body. But hey, the next man can't save you. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. But go ahead. Up. Yeah, you got seek out your own self. Exactly. Um, so a little bit more it says uh to view in a certain way, to stand. Meaning under to need. Well, that's the point. That's all right, to comprehend and to grasp the idea mm-hmm. of. All right, when you come into this truth, all right, you're supposed to fully be able to grasp the whole idea of the reason why you're serving mm. after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's another uh, precept. I think it's just, uh, what is it, Sirach? Um, uh, it's just Sirach. Let me see here. Because okay. uh, it, it uses both of the words, it uses examine and understand. It says, uh, yep, here it says, blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. <laughs> so again, going on to, you have to examine. Uh, that's why I mentioned you have to examine yourself and your surroundings and, and whatever you're going to be judging on. Mm-hmm. But that's why you got to have to take, have the mold out, taken out of your eye first. Mm-hmm. But, it, w- but then you have to, you know, when it comes to, ju- be ju- because so if you can't even examine yourself, how are you going to examine the matter? How are you going to examine... The the, the 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 situation you're supposed to be judging, you know, right. you can't even examine yourself. Yeah, how can you judge something else another matter? Exactly. How are you gonna rebuke somebody when you can't even rebuke yourself? You know, what are you perfect? You ain't got no issues. Hmm. Every all of us got some kind of issues, man. We all sick. Shit. <laughs> At the end of the day. Hmm. But uh, you you had anything? No. Okay. This is uh, Matthew seven and one. It says, "Judge not that you be not judged. For what with judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged." And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Yeah, so what goes around comes around in, in modern day terms, man. Mm-hmm. You you judging somebody, you know, that'd be like us. We out there condemning people for uh, committing adultery, right? And then we are, you, you out here committing adultery. Yeah. Like some people we know, we don't personally know them, but the law, the law, the law. But then it comes out that they're, they're having all kind of freakism amongst their own, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, congregation. That's a hypocrite. Well, it's going to go on. It says, verse 3, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye? Consider it's not the beam that is in thine own eye. Yeah, because you're not considering. These are all words we keep going into. You're not considering it because you're not even examining yourself. Okay. How the hell are you going to consider it? <laughs> you, the, what's wrong with you? But you're trying to get on the next man for it. The same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, says, verse 4, oh, Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, the beam is in thine own eye. Mm-hmm. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. And that's why we're able to go out there on the highways and byways and, and, and call it, rebuke these people because we've looked in ourselves, took the moat out of our own eyes. And how do you do take the moat out of your own eye? Well, you got to know it's there first, and that comes through examining yourself. Verse 6 is, uh, okay, that was the point on that. Come with the point? Yeah. I got one more precept. Yeah, I'm going to close out on that. <clears throat> this is the book of James, <clears throat> chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, mm-hmm. deceiving your own selves. <clears throat> For if any man be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. One more point. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. All right, and that's the man, all right, who did not uh, consider, that was a man who did not um, examine, all right, himself. All right, he let the old man creep in, all right, he still, he still kept doing the old uh, deeds that he used to do. All right, he didn't fully, fully, truly come, all right, into this truth. All right, so that's why the Lord has commanded us to be doers of the word and not for us to just hear the word. All right, we got to actually act on it. All right, be able to, uh, uh, like we were going into the lesson, all right, us examining ourselves. Mm-hmm. And that comes, <clears throat> that's like proving yourself, you know, because mm-hmm. the Lord's going to examine you. <laughs> He's going to prove you. That's right. So you need to do that to yourself as well so you can be found worthy to, you know, receive that, the, the, the mercies of the Lord, like we read earlier, examine thyself before the day of judgment. And that's a fine mercy, and it, you know. Mm-hmm. So if you want to retain, if you want to receive that mercy, man, you need to be, like they say, soul searching, right? right. You need to look in, in your inward parts, make sure, you know, because you can make the outside of the cup clean, but the inside of the cup is all dirty, mm-hmm. you know, got all kind of abominations in there. You know, it's not just about the out, outer man, it's about the inward man. Yeah. You got anything else then? Oh, no, I see. All right, so, hey, Lord's well, this was edifying to the whole full elect. 
And uh, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechav Kodash, Double Honor to the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone, and sal uh, uh, salutations and much love to Yachim out there. Shalom. Shalom.